Welcome back, Gadgeteers. So today we have a little bit of bad news. If you happen to be an owner of the MacBook Pro 13-inch Retina 2017 non-touch bar version, whoo, man, I tell you what. Anyway, if you have the 2017 non-touch bar 13-inch with only the two USB-C ports on it, not the one, or excuse me, the four, there's a little problem. Now, this comes fast on the heels of the identified issue with the MacBook Pro 2017, namely being the battery swelling issue. So if you're not aware of that issue on the same model, the MacBook Pro 2017 retina non-touch bar you need to do a search for it and you can find a support document by apple and you put in your serial number and it will let you know if you need to have your device service to have the battery replaced now according to apple that issue is a non-threatening issue merely cosmetic but it does cause the battery to swell and i can't imagine for the life of me that's a good thing can you anyway so what can we do about this other issue well this other issue is even worse if you do have that particular macbook pro the ssd is prone to corrupting files randomly at any time and they are not recoverable you heard me right not recoverable so if you are relying on that 2017 macbook pro for any type of work that is vital and even if you're not you're going to want to get it fixed so how do we do that well to start off with forbes had an article and there are many articles already out there that says apple is admitting now that the 13 inch macbook pro may lose your data and as usual they're saying that it only affects a small number of users so don't be concerned but if you're the owner of one of these yes do be concerned the official apple support document for this issue is here in this link which i will provide in the description down below essentially says that this particular non-touch bar macbook pro can lose information if you have the 128 gigabyte or 256 gigabyte model solid state drives which is all there is in the macbook pro and it does mention that this includes all units that were sold between June 2017 and June 2018. Here's where it gets very, 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 very frustrating to be an Apple owner. Now, allegedly, according to some of the articles that I've read, this is a firmware issue, not a bona fide hardware issue. So there should be a firmware update that can be released to repair the problem. However, for whatever reason, and it may be a good legitimate reason, Apple has decided what they're going to do is unfortunately require us to bring in our MacBook Pros if there is an issue. Now, I want to show you something that happens when you put your serial number in. So what I did for mine is I went ahead and put in my serial number, which I've now just replaced with some uh, hashtags or pound signs if you're as old as I am and you get this dubious message the serial number you entered may be eligible for this program please choose one of the service options below well unfortunately that means you're gonna have to make an appointment with a, an Apple store so we have the following options first find an Apple authorized service provider number two make an appointment at an Apple retail store and number three contact Apple support and ultimately ship it in so what annoys me about this program that they're running here is number one they acknowledge there's a problem number two when you put your serial number in it just says you may be eligible so apparently they're not able to check the firmware revision of what I presume is the SSD controller itself it's hard to say 
which is really disappointing. I would rather get a de facto answer. Yes, I need to cart my MacBook Pro off to an Apple store or ship it to them, or no, I don't. So for me, I don't have an Apple store nearby, so I would have to make a drive of about 45 minutes to take my device for a possible need to fix it, but no guarantee when it is actually a firmware problem and presumably, like every other PC manufacturer that doesn't like a bunch of people calling them or coming to visit them for no reason, they would just send you the firmware as an update and you would do the update yourself. The only thing I can think of is they've got to use the special port on the 2017 MacBook Pros for some reason, the recovery port that's inside the computer on the motherboard to possibly update the firmware on that system. And that is really a bummer. So sadly, you may not need to have it fixed, but you may cart the thing all the way out there to your store to find out that it's not an issue. But I think it's worth doing, and I'm probably going to opt for either an AASP, which is an Apple authorized service provider, or head on over to an Apple retail store. Um, unfortunately, again, in the town I'm in, there is only one Apple authorized service provider. So first, I'll try to give them a call. Now, with my MacBook Pro 2017, which is sitting back here, I have had no uh, corrupted data or missing files. But of course, you know, I may not have touched those particular files yet if they are indeed corrupted. So it still could be a problem. I just don't know. Am I going to take it? Yes, more than likely unfortunately so just thought you might want to know about this issue and also the battery issue with the swelling battery you might want to check into both of those put your serial number into the support document find out what you're dealing with and see if you need to take your macbook in for repair or ship it out hope you enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe if you found it informative well share it talk about it I always appreciate it, and thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.